The next principle is about creating powerful presentation. And powerful presentation can be created with anything. Let me give you one quick example of it. For example, in this picture, in this display, some articles can be highlighted with spotlights to attract customers. So one way to create these powerful presentation may be to have the lights, the light impact, the spotlights on the product. You can see the display here in the example number one, which is more dark. The products are not very much clear. The products are not very much attractive. It is the same display. It is the same type, but with some uh, more light impact. So the more light impact will of course create the more powerful presentation. In the, there are all factors you should keep into consideration. The product displays should be very much clear by size, uh, by the, the, the main uh, area of the product. Again, the articles, the, the labeling, the pricing, and of course the ambience in the store, the lighting in the store have also strong impact in the buying behavior of the customer. The next principle, uh, the second last principle, is encourage impulse buying. So what you are going to do normally, uh, what you are knowing, going to understand in this principle that you need to make sure that customer should buy impulse product. The objective of the retailer is to place all impulse buying products at the locations where the, the customer uh, is going to visit the store. So all the traffic areas which is there, all the paths, normally all the impulse products, they are placed into the paths or at the point of sales. For example, the cigarettes, for example, chewing gums, for example, chocolates, for example, cookies are or maybe some imported articles are displayed on the POS at the point of sale. So normally at the time of the billing, because customer is, is standing there and waiting uh, for in the queue for his turn. So it is the right time that he can just pick the product and then he can place that product into his trolley. So the objective of impulse buying for every retailer, because it, it turns out to be an addition uh, in the uh, articles in the on the invoice. So the invoice size will increase uh, of the customer. And of course, the margin of the, of the retailer will also increase. The last principle of presentation is about choosing the right location for the right product. So the special presentation of high margin articles at the checkout is very attractive. As I just discussed about it, that normally imported articles are high margin articles or there are some articles which bring more margins to the retailers because some articles in the store would be the traffic generators, but some articles in the store would be margin generators. So the objective of the retailer is to focus on both because at one point of time you need traffic and on the other time or uh, on the other part you need also the margin. So the special presentation, secondary displays are done for the products, especially at the checkouts where there's a billing counter. Uh, you need to place the high margin articles because if the customers have picked them, of course you will be able to turn that customer into a buying customer for that particular article. And this has been observed through the research that this is the ideal method of uh, encouraging customer to buy such products which are normally not in the uh, planning uh, side, uh, normally, normally not in the list of his routine grocery buying or routine buying, but once he sees the special presentation and that presentation attracts him to buy that particular product for the uh, retailer. Because then ultimately this will bring more profitability because that profitability is an ideal requirement, is a requirement for the retailer.